Praise God, brothers and sisters, and welcome back again to this channel for another powerful moment of inspiration. As usual, the Bible is our standard. Now, today we want to look at another amazing, amazing inspiration that comes from the Bible in the book of Esther form. And you know, our topic today is take your position. Take your position. I challenge all of you to take your position not only in your life, but in the place where you are because God has a reason and a purpose where you are in this place at this time. Now, there is a story that is being told about Esther. Esther is in the palace and she's not the only one in the palace. There are other maidens who are in the palace. All of them, they have one ambition. And all of them want to win. And one thing is for sure, it could have been so easy for Esther to forget herself, to forget who she was. But at one point, a man has already, had already planned to destroy her people. And at this point, Mordecai sends a message to Esther. And Mordecai tells Esther one word. I want to read it. And Mordecai told them to tell Esther, do not think in your heart that you will escape in the king's palace any more than all other Jews. He goes ahead to remind Esther that if she will remain quiet at that time, if she will not take a rightful position, if she will not do what God wanted her to do at that time, God will surely raise up from another place. But one thing is for sure, that our own family would be destroyed and our own people. Friends, many are times that God will allow us to be in a position where we can understand things better than our family members, where we are at an advantage more than our friends, where we are at an advantage more than other people, so that God can use that thing that he has put in us. Esther was in the palace at the right time. So she was in the right place at the right time for the purpose that God had for her. And let me tell you, there is nothing that happens in our life without no God knowing about it. You were not born in the wrong family. You were not born in the wrong country. You were not born in the wrong county. You did not just happen. But you are where God wanted you to be so that you can take your rightful position. Stop saying that I am in the wrong church and starting to admire other churches because God has put you in that church to be the church that he desires. You only need to know your rightful position because if you do not take your position, someone else, God will raise someone else for that season. Amen. Many of us, I've not done what God wanted us to do because we are waiting for someone else to do it. While not knowing that we could have been the change that the family needed. Your family has struggled with the same thing again and again. You might be the one that God was waiting upon to kneel down and pray and break that pattern in your family. All you need to do is take your position. You might be the person that God is going to use to bring transformation in your church or even in that group that you serve. But you are waiting for someone else because you do not believe there is something that God has deposited in you for a season like this. Friends, we are to arise because if you do not arise, surely in your generation somebody else will rise and you will miss the chance but your family might, might be destroyed because you refused to take your position. Maybe you're the one that God wanted you to repent on behalf of your family. Maybe you're the one that God wanted to do a sign, just one kind thing that will change and transform your whole family. You might be the person that God is waiting on, but you are afraid to take position. But I like what Esther did. Esther knew that she had to do something. Esther knew that the family that she came from, the home that she came from, the people that she came from, needed her at that time. She knew that she was needed. 
and she took a position. She decided to take it up to her. And this is what she, what she says. Go gather all the Jews who are present in Shushan and fast for me neither eat or drink three days, night and day. My mates and I will fast also. And so I will go to the king, which is against the law. If I perish, I perish. Some Bible verses say, if I die, I die. Esther knew that going in the presence of the king, you needed to be somewhat. And she had not yet been somewhat. But she knew she had to do what she, she had to do. Friends, sometimes you looked at your family and know that I have to do something about the patterns in my family. I cannot live the same lifestyle that my father lived. I cannot go the same way my mother went. I cannot go the same way my brothers and sisters went. I will be the difference. I will bring a difference in my homestead. We are not going to die of poverty, all of us. I will be the change. And I will bring deliverance in my family. Because it is high that they were waiting for. Esther says, if I die, I die. You must have to read that place you say that I may lose my friends, yes, but I must transform my life. I might lose people in my life, but I must change my family and my generation. And when I talk about doing it, you're doing it according to the will and the purpose of God. Because God has given everything to you to your understanding. If you tell him, God, give me wisdom. Open my spiritual eyes, Lord, to know what is it that has been ailing us as a community. What is it that has been ailing us as a family? What happened in my family for us to be where we are? Maybe your family just needs to show a sign of kindness to one person for everything else to change. Maybe your family just needs prayer and fasting. And you will be the one to tell him them we need to pray and fast for a generation. Friends, what is the position that God has given you where you are? What is your position where you go to church? What is your position where you live? In your family? In your marriage? You have to reach a place like Esther and say, I will present myself before the king. If I die, let me die. You see, even when Abraham was going to that place that God was calling him to go, he did not know where he was supposed to live or stay. But he trusted God. He knew I will go with God. Even if there is no place to settle, I will still go. We have to reach that place that Jacob reached. And he told God, I am not going from here unless you bless me. It is at that position where you know that this is my time. This is my place. This is where if I die, I die. May the Lord arise us to that position. That instead of looking at the problems in our families, instead of crying about the problems in our church, Instead of us complaining about the issues in our nation and country, we will take our position. And the best position to take is to pray. Is to cry for your family. Is to fast for your family. Is to seek the face of God for your family. And anything else that God tells you to do. Maybe some of you need to return things that have been stolen. You need to show justice to people who are not shown justice by your family. And I am sure God will lead it in your heart. God will lay that exact thing that you need to do. Maybe it's an offering you need to give on behalf of your family. That sacrifice that will change the destiny of your family or your nation. May the Lord help us today to take our rightful position. If we die, let us die. If we perish, let us perish. But be pursuing change. Pursuing what is right. Pursuing what
what we deserve. Going back to take what belongs to us and our people. And let me tell you, when Esther decided to do that, a man was not able to destroy them. Actually, the temple stand. And everything that a man had planned against them, it was done to him. May the Lord help you today and me so that he will take us and put us in the rightful position. And we allow him to give us that position so that at a time like this, in this generation, in this season, we will be the change that God is, needs in our society. Brothers and sisters, that is our message today. Thank you again for coming and joining me on this channel. I pray that this word has transformed you or changed your life. May the Lord bless you. See you again next time for another powerful moment of inspiration. Please subscribe, share, and God bless you. Shalom.